with us. Well, let's hear for the Reverend Dr. Wade. Well, happy Pride, everybody. We're so happy to welcome you to our city hall, our state house, to represent our D.C. values. I'm Muriel Bowser. I'm the mayor of the best city in the world. Also, the gayest city in the world. We just wrapped up a week of Black Pride celebrations in Washington, D.C., and we are happy to be here today at the start of Pride Month as we celebrate and protect our LGBTQA plus community in Washington, D.C. I, too, want to thank our team in D.C. government, starting with Director Bowles, leading the mayor's office of LGBTQ affairs, for helping to gather us here today. But Dr. Wade was correct in saying standing up and protecting and advancing LGBTQ initiatives, protections, and values in D.C. is a whole-of-government approach. It is everyone's responsibility. I am proud today to celebrate that message that we send across our city, our nation, and our world. We do it in our programs and services. We do it in our initiatives. We do it in our schools. So no, we won't be banning books in Washington, D.C. We will be celebrating our culture. And if Disney needs another East Coast location, I think we have some space for them. And I'm not kidding. So we know that there is and will continue to be more than likely in this election process that's upcoming for our nation, a lot of rhetoric. We know that some people are going to be advancing really scary legislation. And that's why I am proud to be standing with our Attorney General, Brian Schwab. Let's hear it for Brian. And the members of our state legislature, starting with our chairman of the council, Phil Mendelson, Zachary Parker, and also Kenyon McDuffie, along with all of the members of the council, Charles Allen, Anita Bonds, because they represented a council that has been on the forefront for decades of making sure that we have the type of legislation in our city that protects all Washingtonians. And in just a couple of years, we're going to be welcoming the entire world for World Pride 2025. Who's going to be here for World Pride? going to be a lot of people here from World Pride and we're going to spend every month leading up to it making sure that our city is ready uh, to showcase our neighborhoods, our people, uh, and how we have been progressive in our programs and services. So we're going to be here for every day working on the issues that protect Washingtonians. So today we're going to raise the flag. That's important, right? It's, it's historic. But as we raise a flag, it is historic, but it is a symbol. It is a symbol of the work that we have to do to also raise awareness, to make sure that we're fighting against hate on our streets, in our homes, in our language, and in our interactions with one another. We also have to raise more opportunities. Because while we're celebrating pride, we also know that there are people who are left behind. And we have to work for more job opportunities and more inclusivity. We also have to raise our expectations about how we can provide more affordable housing in our city across all eight wards and for everybody. Whether you're a young person, 
who needs a home or you're a senior who wants inclusive housing. So we're, we're going to buckle up. We're going to get the job done, and we're going to celebrate raising this flag, celebrate Pride Office.